Hi there, I am Narcis and I will do firmware upgrade procedure for Samsung Galaxy S Advanced. Upgrade that brings a change of the Android operating system from version 2.3 to 4.1 Jelly Bean. I carry out several screens to see what the interface looks like before the upgrade. Background image of GSM signal battery applications. I will go to settings in the section about phone to see the current version which is Android 2.3.6 Gingerbread. I will now show the top menu notification area that will change and there will be more options. Right now there are only 5 that we can see. Now I will turn off the phone in order to clear the memory. Note that there is no restart option and this option will appear after the upgrade. In order to make the upgrade I will connect it to the computer via USB data cable. Then I will start it and we will use the manufacturer application Samsung Keys that is already installed on the computer. Now I switch to the computer and launch Samsung Keys application that will automatically connect by the USB cable to the phone and if you have an older software version as in this case you will see this window of upgrade to the new version. We can see that it displays both the current firmware version of the phone and also the new version. Even the procedure is safe it is recommended to have a backup of the data. So I will cancel the upgrade and I will go into the backup and restore menu. I will select what I want to copy, the agenda, the messages, logs and so on and then I press the backup button. The process of copying lasts depending on how much data is in the phone and what I selected to copy so I will forward the copy process to save time. Now the backup process is complete and now I will go and press the firmware upgrade button. A window appears with a list of warnings that we must consider before starting the upgrade procedure such as to have the battery charged completely, do not press any button on the phone and so on. I recommend that you read this list carefully and then check confirmation and continue with the start upgrade button. Now the downloading and installing of the files from the internet is starting and I will forward the process to save time. At this point the process is complete. As written in the current window I must restart the phone and unplug it from the USB cable. I will do this and I will also restart the keys application. I rebooted the phone and I reconnected the USB cable and start keys application. It will now show that the phone has the latest firmware as we can see here. Returning to the phone it can be seen that wallpaper has changed. After I unlock the screen automatically starts the setup guide that allow to change the interface language. We can set Wi-Fi connection. We can modify the time and date or we can set to be automatically updated. Here you can sign in if you have a Samsung account. These are the configurations to access location by network and we can enter the name of the phone owner. This was the starting guide. The tutorial still gave advices on various operations. And finally comes the first screen. We can see a different wallpaper, weather widget has disappeared. Now I clicked search button by mistake in the home page. Error occurs because it is not connected to a network. It does not let me get out using the back button. So I will use the main home button. I can see that the other pages are blank. These are default applications.
The tutorial continues to show us that we can copy an application to home screens if we click on it and drag it. I will go to the device settings in the about device section to see the Android version that now is 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. I put two pictures side by side with this screen to see how it looks before the upgrade in the left and after the upgrade in the right. I will press the power button until the device option menu appears. In this way we can choose what to do with the device. I put here also a picture with both menus to show the differences from the old version. The left is before the upgrade and the right is after the upgrade. In addition we have the option to restart the device and instead mute option we can switch between no sound, vibration and normal mode with sound. Now I will get a little in the task manager by press and hold down the home button to see another change, namely old software only allowed to use 555 megabytes of RAM memory. Now after the upgrade we can see that the RAM memory that can be used by the operating system is 625 megabytes. Now I will show also the notification area. We see that beside the default functions, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, screen rotation and sound options, there is now some extra options for mobile data, power save, sync options and below them is the settings for screen brightness that can be done manually or automatically. This was the firmware upgrade procedure for Samsung Galaxy S Advance smartphone that upgrade the Android operating system version from 2.3.6 gingerbread to 4.1.2 jellybean version.